So in today's video, I'm doing something that I very rarely do, and that is a haul. I want you guys to see how totally committed I am to herbal hair care, properly known and called Ayurvedic hair care, but I have my reasons for using the word herbal. So for those of you who are new here, I'm Michelle from FindNaturalHairAndFaith.com. Welcome to my channel. Please feel free to subscribe to get more videos from me. I can be a little bit, you know, edgy sometimes and sometimes I'm just straight informative with my experiences with my fine natural hair. Let's get started. For first of all, I am deep conditioning my hair so I figured this would be a great time to sit and go through all of the products that I am using now for my fine natural hair to get it to the next level using nothing but herbs. Yes, y'all, I am so committed. This is regard to my cleansers and my conditioners and treatments all Ayurvedic herbal hair products, no store-bought um, commercial products, if that makes sense. As far as my stylers, that's a little bit different because I do like my gels. I do like, you know, certain other products that I use to style my hair. But let's get started. All of my herbal hair products come from Hennessook. I believe that they have an excellent quality at a really great price. Every now and again, I may grab something off of Amazon but I know that they take great care in choosing the products that they offer to us so starting with my cleansers I use their Zizifus hair wash that is this product right here and it says it gently exfoliates and cleanses your scalp with our Zizifus shampoo our formulation will leave your hair with added volume and body it treats dandruff and scalp conditions leaving hair and scalp deeply yet gently cleansed I can co-sign on this I've used Zizifus in the past not as a shampoo but just as an urban i would make a hair mask and it helped to restore my curl pattern that was sort of uneven and ununiform this i love it really does cleanse the scalp and i must say that after washing i do not get itchy scalp like i used to get when i would use commercial shampoo the next product i use from henna Souk is their cleansing conditioning co-wash infused with shikai kai rosemary tangerine and clary Sage. Now this product here, it says it leaves your hair feeling soft, shiny, and easy to style. Infused with Shikai Kai, this gentle cleanse gently cleanses and detangles. It's an ideal co-wash system to use after a henna or herbal hair mask treatment to add moisture back to the hair. So this product I do love, but I do not feel like it is like a typical co-wash, like if you were to use a conditioner. I don't feel that it's as moisturizing as using a straight conditioner to cleanse your hair but it does make the hair manageable and this is staying in my roundup. The next cleanser I use from Henna Souk is their Cassia and Neem hair wash. I love this hair wash. I wish it came in a bigger bottle, seriously. Um, just like the other product, it says that it exfoliates and cleanses your scalp. Um, it has cassia and neem formulated to leave hair with added volume and body. It treats dandruff and scalp conditions. All of these herbs tend to sort of like do that. It says that when you um, use this, you may need to use a conditioner or AC rinse as a follow-up depending on your hair. I have found that I use this and I don't need to use an additional product, but I will use the next product that I'm about to share with you guys. The Moroccan Hair Tea Rinse. Yes, I use this to create a, a rinse, to do a final rinse on my hair once I am done cleansing and conditioning and doing all of those things. I love this Moroccan hair tea rinse. It's infused with seven Moroccan herbs as a strengthening, nourishing tea rinse that promotes longer, healthier hair. So for those of you who've been questioning what I've been using, this is definitely one of the products that I can attribute to making my hair a bit stronger. What you can do is you could use this as a hair tea rinse. You could use it to create a hair growth oil. You could use it to mix up your hair masks that are in powder form. It's just, it, there's so much that you can do with this hair rinse. And I really do like this tea rinse from them. This is my second buy. So I've used, um, well, there's two tea bags in each box. The first box I used up to create a hair growth oil and the second one I used up to create a hair tea rinse which I also use to spritz my hair. One of the cleansers that I also use by Henna Souk is their Sweet Honey Infused with Honey and Cassia Obovada Shampoo Bar. This is the shampoo bar. Now this product 
actually I shouldn't have said that I used because this is the first time I will be using this so correction there I've used their henna bar to cleanse my hair as well as their henna kisses I don't have that in my stock right now because when it ships to you if it's summertime or if warm out it, it arrives literally liquefied which you just have to kind of scrape the bag and, and get all the stuff out but it's better to order that in the in the winter months this is infused with honey and organic cassia obovada notice that a lot of products have cassia this shampoo bar strengthens the hair, adds shine, and leaves it smelling amazing. This bar is ideal for fine to normal hair. Since I've yet to use it, I will be back with my thoughts on this and how it works out for us fine hair girls. Another product that I use from Henna Souk is their Henna Care Balm. It is in this little jar here. And this I actually won in a contest from them. And I have used it to... I mean I haven't used much like I don't know if you can see that but you don't really need much and what you do is when you're about to do a henna before you do it you just kind of apply the balm around your edges your, your hairline and, and on your ears so as to not get the henna stain I don't typically get a stain there anyway but it's a good place you know to put that to prevent that it contains cocoa butter candela, candela wax castor olive coconut tangerine and black pepper essential oils organic ingredients love it and here's another product I use sweet mimosa hair butter it includes shea butter candelia wax extra virgin olive oil castor oil aloe vera extra virgin virgin rose hip mimosa floral wax sweet orange essential oil peppermint essential oil and vitamin E the ingredients are organic and this is what the jar looks like is the sweet mimosa butter this is just great like if whatever you would use shea butter you could use this butter and what's great about this is it's infused with all of these beneficial essential oils so I've used quite a bit of that and it smells so good it really smells like it's like the peppermint oil is taking over the scent of this but it's a great hair butter for sealing your hair and for styling it next three products that I'm about to show you are products that must stay refrigerated or in the freezer and the first one is the Coco Veda hair mask infused with five hair strengthening herbs moisture rich for dry and damaged hair for all hair types it contains water satiro alcohol Betaine, cocoa, glucoside, shea butter, olive oil, sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, phenoxyethanol, which is a preservative. It contains jojoba oil, aloe vera leaf juice powder, um, do, 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 some herbal things that I can't pronounce. Um, henna, it says Lawsonia inermis, I believe that's henna. It contains um, acacia something. It's a lot of herbs. Some of them I can't pronounce. Uh, la, 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 la. Xanthan gum, citric acid, lactic acid, benzoic acid, and vitamin E, which is tocopherol, um, and dehydrocreatic acid. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. But this Coco Veda hair mask is must stay in the refrigerator so that it lasts long. The preservative that's in it, I guess it doesn't allow for the product to last very long. But what I really like about this mask, let me show you what it looks like. And it is one of those masks, you have to be careful because of the oils in it, it can spill and separate. I think I actually used up most of the oils that were in it, but that's what it looks like. And this is a fantastic mask. Oh my goodness, when I tell you, even after my first use, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm definitely buying this. I love the strengthening properties that it gives. I love how it makes my hair super manageable. And I retain a lot of moisture when I use it. Next up is the Moroccan Rasul Mud Mask infused with moisturizing argan oil and rosemary. Now this here, let me tell you. Usually when you make up a mud mask, it can feel your hair can feel a little bit dry afterwards. Rasul is a bit more moisturizing than bentonite clay, but what I really liked about this is it was super super moisturizing to my hair. I keep it in the fridge and it's got a little bit of like liquid forming in the top. I just have to mix it up when I go to use it again. But the ingredients in this product are really very very simple. Rasul clay, organic in nature, Distilled water, argan oil, rosemary essential oil, and optifin, which is a preservative. 
uh, I'm not going to open it because it's, it's got a lot of liquid at the top. But I have to say, cleansing my scalp, cleansing my hair, this is great if you want to clarify. But it's also great, you know, when you're just living that whole, you know, herbal hair life and you want your hair clean. Next up, the final product that needs to be in the refrigerator. Actually, this needs to go in the freezer. It's the Hibiscus Restorative Hair Mask. This has been in the freezer until I'm ready to use it and it contains it's perishable because of you know what's in it um, and it has no preservative their entire henna bar series this is part of their henna bar series none of those products contain ingredients so they must be refrigerated or put in the freezer as instructed this here contains distilled water organic hibiscus organic fenugreek organic marshmallow root organic aloe vera and grapefruit essential oil. I've yet to use this particular mask, but knowing what I know about the ingredients, hibiscus is so beneficial for the scalp. It also strengthens the hair. It also provides a little bit of gray coverage. I notice when I use hibiscus, I do get a little bit of gray coverage, and so I like that. Fenugreek, excellent herb for strengthening hair and promoting hair growth. The marshmallow root adds a lot of slip to the product, and aloe vera is just a natural moisturizer it helps to moisturize your hair and then the grapefruit essential oil i don't know the benefits of that but i will check it out and find out but so far i haven't used this mask um i i hope i love it because you know i'm loving the fresh herbal hair mask and i would like to keep them in my rotation i'll be back in a future video to kind of give my thoughts on this once i've actually had a chance to use it a couple of times now regarding their other products all from henna soup I have the Organic Rajashani Indian Henna. This is for when you want to color your hair more of a burgundy. And now let me just clarify that because like if you have really dark hair, it's not like you're going to have this burgundy hair. This is like if you have really light hair and you want it to be a little of a burgundy color, you could color your hair with the with this. What I find is whenever I use Rajasthani, I get, um, excuse me, I got the next product in my hand over here. Um, I get my gray hairs to looking a bit burgundy and I actually love that because I do not embrace my gray hairs. I know someone people, some people do, but not me. So I've got two bags of the Rajasthani Henna and they come in 100 grams. One, when I want to do my entire head, one pack will do my entire head. If I want to just add some tablespoons to another deep conditioner, to boost it because I do have some deep conditioners left that I'm using up I can boost them by adding a tablespoon or two of the henna to it and that just makes it into a henna gloss the product that I practically dropped was the goddess hair mask this is I've used this already and I find that this hundred grams I can get two treatments out of the goddess hair and it is an herbal hair blend infused with fenugreek rose and that's what I have in my hair right now, to be honest. Like, that's, this is the treatment that I'm doing. But it contains cassia, amla, hibiscus, fenugreek, rose petal, and aloe. Whew, these are some wonderful herbal ingredients, let me tell you. The cassia strengthens. It, the amla promotes growth. I love amla, by the way. The hibiscus promotes shine. The fenugreek makes your hair thicker. The rose petal provides balance and the aloe provides moisture. So this is like a thorough and complete hair mask. You could probably use this like once a week and you're good to go. Next product that I have by Henna Souk, I hope you're not bored, is their Sweet Honey Enriching Hair Nourisher. Now I did a video in the past of the products I'm using up by Henna Souk that I plan to rebuy again. And this was one of them. Like I really love this Honey Enriching Hair Nourisher. It contains pure honey, vegetable glycerin, sunflower oil, extra virgin olive oil, castor oil, behentrimonium methyl sulfate, and satiro alcohol, metafoam seed oil, panthenol, cassia abovada, lemongrass essential oil, and optifin, the preservative. This mask is so moisturizing. Now, I know there are so many people who really have difficulties with... Um, aloe vera and even the uh, glycerin the vegetable glycerin the honey their humectants 
but I'm telling you because you're washing it out I feel like it really does the hair wonderful to get the moisture in as far as styling products containing vegetable glycerin I could see that being a problem because it could either draw moisture out of your hair or moisture into your hair depending on the dew point and who got time to be checking dew points but this mask I think it's excellent for just doing a treatment you're washing it out your hair is moisturized and that's all she wrote next product I have is the Sukesh Ayurveda hair mask for stronger longer healthier hair I have two bags of this so this is 200 grams and like the other hair mask I will probably just need half of it and I will mix it up with my hair tea the Sukesh Ayurveda contains cassia Amla, Neem, Aloe, Tulsi, Brahmi, Bringraj, and Shakai Kai. The Shakai Kai helps to cleanse the hair also. But these, oof, honey, let me tell you. The moisture that you're going to get from these masks. And I think they put the description of aloe vera powder on the back of the Sirkesh Ayurveda mask. Yeah. And for my favorite, favorite, favorite that I mentioned earlier, Amla. I make sure I keep Amla powder in my sash at all times. I use Amla powder for my pre-pools. I mix up with, with a little bit of henna sometimes. This is a an excellent, like, this is like next to henna, the king of herbs in my opinion. Okay, so organic Amla powder promotes hair growth, helps maintain your curl pattern, adds volume to hair and tones down the red tone of henna when combined together so if you want to do a henna and you're concerned about your hair you know gray is getting a little bit too red you can mix in some amla amla can also be used alone without adding it to other herbs optionally optionally you can use it as an astringent facial mask i've never used amla as a facial mask and to be honest i probably never will because i need to keep all of this goodness for my hair as face mask i'll leave that to the rasul clay matter of fact the Rasul Clay Mud Mask that I showed you earlier that needs to be um, refrigerated. This hair, let me tell you, this I use as a face mask before I even use it as a hair mask. And this is great. Of course, if you want to mix up your your facial mask, so be it. You can do that. You can just buy Rasul Clay. But this as a face mask and a hair mask is excellent. And since we're talking about Rasul Clay, this is the last in the products of my henna souk hair stash it is the moroccan rasul clay it's part of their moroccan collection i have two bags i find that you don't need too much but i wish the bags were bigger because i feel like a bigger bag you know i don't have to have multiple bags but basically if you want to do a mask and this is for just like let's say shoulder length hair for a hair mask you'd use half the package for a body mask you'd use a whole package for a face mask you only need two tablespoons so depending on how you want to use it you know you can get more more for your money i tend to want to use rasul clay more so for my face than my hair but i do like to mix up my rasul clay with my bentonite clay which i have in you know in my stash but that is it guys like I know I'm like a henna soup fanatic right now especially I just really am committed to the herbal hair care I love herbal hair care products I love you know my of, of all of the herbs amla and henna are my two favorites I'm not a huge fan of indigo because of the consistency but you know lots of people like indigo and next to that I really just love using these different masks that contain all of the various ingredients this way you don't have to go out unless you want to and experiment with all the different herbs by mixing them together it's already been done for you and the prices are very affordable and very reasonable oh I forgot something here I am doing a haul and I forgot two more products I thought I had them out and ready. So one of the products I actually don't have because when my order was received, it was missing this item. So I'm waiting for them to ship it to me. And that item is Amla oil. Like I said, I love Amla, but I ordered their Amla oil and I haven't received it yet. In addition to that, I'm using their Camellia oil. So this oil is really great to also add to your hair masks. And it just makes like a fantastic, you can use it as a sealant. But I actually just prefer to use like my butters and my hair growth oil as my sealant. And I'll use this to add to my hair mask and things of that nature. 
anyway that is it i hope this video wasn't too long and i hope i've inspired you to kind of like dabble a little bit in herbal hair care i know that some people have reached out to me and said that they were interested in switching to herbal hair care so you know god granted us and graced us with so many good herbs that we could use for our bodies and for our hair so you know why not take advantage of that anyway thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video have a very blessed day <music>